ready? We're doing this. You ready? <laughs> Battle of the Bags, the Lululemon New Parent Diaper Backpack versus the Bay's Ultimate Diaper Backpack. Hi, I'm Emily and this is Naomi. Say hi. Hi. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Lululemon New Parent Backpack and the Bay's Ultimate Diaper Backpack. We're going to be reviewing it. You're right. You're right. It's we're going to be reviewing it. Not me. We're reviewing it. Yeah, I get it. We're reviewing it. So I'm going to go ahead and put chapters or timestamps or whatever it's called. So you can go ahead and jump to whatever you want to see. But I'm going to talk a little bit in the beginning. So I initially registered for a diaper bag. And I didn't realize like how important having an amazing diaper bag is. So... I didn't think about the fact that, like, how long I would be using this bag. Yeah, we use this for a long time. And you want it to be cute because you bring it to everything. And it needs to be big enough to hold all of your stuff. And so I have a different bag that I do not love. And I decided that I wanted to get something that was more me and more something that actually could accommodate everything that I need in a diaper bag. Right, sweetie? Everything that we need, you're right, we need. So I'm a big traveler, I like to go out, and for me, I wanted a bag that was big enough to carry all my stuff that I wanted and her stuff. Hey. Yeah, right, both of our stuff. I don't wanna be wearing a backpack, carrying a bag, rolling a carry-on, all that kind of stuff. Right, one bag. Yeah, one bag. So when I started kind of looking around, looking for a bag that was maybe cute, a little bit more my style, I came across the Lululemon bag first. And I thought, oh, this is so cute. Like, this is great. It looks big, all that kind of stuff. And then, of course, those Instagram ads. I do own a bag from Bays, but I didn't think about it for baby stuff. And then I saw her like add for the ultimate diaper backpack and I wanted to check it out and it looked amazing and so I knew I had to get both see them both in person and figure out which one I was going to keep and which one I was going to return right yeah what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and show the Lulu bag and then I'm going to show the Bay's bag and we can compare and stuff them and figure out which one accommodates my needs better so Anyway, let's get to the review. Here it is, the Lulu bag. I got excited, I opened the package. You guys don't get to see me unbox it, but here it is. I can hold it actually side by side to the Bay's bag so you can see size comparison. The Bay's bag is slightly bigger in height. You can see a tiny bit. The Lulu bag looks a little bit wider, but very, very close and there's this large opening up top and then there's a big pocket right here yeah you see it there's also this little zipper pocket right here and i'm gonna go ahead and open everything yeah we gotta open everything yeah let's go ahead and open this front pouch first so paper it's got a little pocket for you to like maybe stick bottles though it's not insulated it feels pretty big zipper works well it's very smooth you're not like jamming it i hate when bags are like that and there's this upper area it's not insulated but it seems like a quick area for like your phone or maybe your, a wallet or some cards or some quick access stuff um for mom or maybe it's where you keep like a thin pack of alcohol wipes to wipe down surfaces for the little one. On the side, they're kind of hidden. There are these cup holder things. These feel personally a little small for me. I like to carry like a big either tumbler thing. I have a thing for my um, milk. I'm someone who likes to pump most of the time. And so um, having something that can care accommodate the stuff that I bring around is important. And one of them is having a big cup holder to hold my milk jug thing. It does have the little like strappies so you can 
like stretch it but when the bag is full like i can tell there's paper inside this right now the pockets are definitely small and there's two of them i think a normal size water bottle like one of those plastic ones would fit well but if you're gonna like be bigger than that if the bag is full the pockets are small so let's open it it has a nice wide opening and lululemon always has these cute phrases inside their bags this says what do you need today? Very cute. But I'm gonna remove the paper. My immediate reaction when I open this bag is that it's nice and wide, so it looks like I can fit a bunch of stuff in it. It has this little area right here. It might be for like a changing pad or an iPad or maybe a small laptop. I have a 16 inch um, MacBook Pro, so I'm not sure if it would fit in here. I'm gonna go get it to see if that would. But yeah, this is an area for something like that. Then it has this little mesh pocket nice and big you can put a bunch of stuff and there's also another bag and we'll review this in a second but then there's like this mesh pockets all over it so it looks like let's see if we can get that you can see there's like these pockets and there's even one on the side over here so different little things kind of help you to organize what's in here so that way, like, you're not really digging around. Sometimes that's a problem with a diaper bag. So there's nice little pockets for organization. Again, it doesn't look like it's really insulated in here. So there's not really a true, like, bottle pocket or something like that. But, yeah, that's just, like, definitely something to think about for myself. But other than that, the bag is really nice. Yeah, is the bag nice? Did you want to see it? What do you think? But... It does have these little stroller straps, which is great. So you can hook it to your bag. And then it has these little things where you could probably attach like a carabiner or like a clip for a toy or a pacifier or other little things that you just need to attach to your bag. Let's go ahead and review the little bag that came inside. This is a crossbody kind of bag and it looks like it has two pockets. The first one, little quick grab area for things. I'm assuming that this is actually like a little diaper bag that you pull out of the big bag. Oh yeah, it has a changing pad. We can go ahead and open this. It's got Lululemon on it, so it says that. Yeah, you see that? Is that where your little booty will go? Yeah. Oh, it's pretty big. See, she's, she's three, almost three months next week. That would fit her good. But yeah, it looks like it folds up nice and small for this bag. It definitely is lightweight. And I feel like this would be easy to throw into other bags. Folds up really easy. You just kind of fold it back and then slip the little cover over. Um, There's again, another one of these like mesh pockets but it feels really loose like it doesn't have much elastic so it's kind of weird that it's in the bag yeah what do you think yeah you see that but yeah there's not really much elastic in there so i feel like it's kind of just more of a divider rather than like holding stuff against the side yeah you're so cute hi sweetie hi sweetie but yeah, this seems to be like the type of bag that you pull out of the bag when you need to do a quick change rather than bringing the whole diaper bag. Maybe if you're at a restaurant and you want to like leave your bag at the table with your friend or your husband or your partners there um, and you can just grab this and take the little one to the bathroom. The thing about this though, it's a little difficult. You kind of need to get it really perfect into the bag, but that's really nice that you get two bags for the price of one. My reaction now, like doing all this, is that this bag feels too small maybe for me because this part takes up when it's in there like a good portion of the bag. What do you think about it? Is this the bag for us? But and it's a very nice bag. It has very nice material. It's got like kind of wipe clean, um, what a lot of the Lululemon bags are made of. But yeah, the Lululemon bag. 
Okay, now we're gonna review the Bay's bag. This is the Bay's bag. What do you think about the Bay's bag? She says she's gotta see more. Okay, so I compared the size of the Bay's bag and the Lululemon bag. I'm gonna do it again for people that may have just skipped to the Bay's bag, but they're pretty close in size. The Bay's bag is a little bit taller. The Lululemon bag looks a little bit wider to me, but let's get into the bag. So the Bay's bag looks like it has this kind of fanny pack in the front. Um, it does clip off. So again, kind of like maybe that Lululemon thing that if you wanted to do like quick diapering stuff or maybe this is quick mom stuff, um, that's easy. You can attach it around your hip and it, it's a completely separate bag. Okay, I'm gonna take a look at the fanny pack first. It looks like there is one, maybe two pockets on it. Um, it's got a, it's not insulated, but a little area for you to just put some quick stuff. And then I'm gonna go ahead and detach it so this is easier to see. Clips were easy. But it's got a little like Velcro pocket as well. So it has that front um, zipper pocket and then it has this back Velcro pocket. And then yeah, you can just, you know, hook it on all different ways. Okay, now taking a look at the outside of the bag, it's got this pocket in the front. It's a Velcro pocket. Um, it looks like you can fit like a couple things in here. It's pretty good size. So yeah, you can put a bunch of little like flat things in here, flatter toys, nothing kind of bulky. I would say like pretty like um, slim things. It's got these side pockets for cups, which is great for me because like I said um, about the Lulu bag, I don't want when the bag is full that the cup holders, the sides to not have room for like my large tumbler, my milk jug, whatever I'm carrying with me. So these are great. These are nice size pockets. I can't really stretch it with one hand, but they're really good size. Taking a look at the back of the bag, it's got the luggage thing. Yeah, so when we travel, right? We go in places. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we're gonna go everywhere, huh? Maybe Disneyland too. You're gonna love it. Going back to the front, there is this like pocket right here. This is like softer in here, but it's really large. You can definitely fit like your phone, maybe mom's wallet, um, a bunch of little things. But yeah, it's fabric. It's also got a little like key holder. So that's great too. Oh, I didn't even notice. It, it has these little hooks right here that you can put it on your stroller, which is great. I almost completely forgot this section. This is like the coolest part of the whole bag too. You can open this and this becomes a pop down changing table. You've got a, pop, a spot for wipes. You've got a spot right here for an extra outfit. Any other things, binkies, a nice little area. It's very large. You can see comparison to her. Her hands stay protected. She's not touching anything. She's nice and clean. Oh, bless you. Yeah, she's nice and clean, but this is super neat. It's nice and padded. Um, awesome feature. And again, it does not take away the space of the bag. Holds up really nice and easy. Completely awesome. It's also a good place for her to like sit or lay like maybe you're at the park you want to lay her down or sit her against the bag um but that's really cool okay now opening the bag it's got a nice magnetic closure and when you open it i can see that there's actually a little area for some wipes so maybe some like things to wipe down surfaces um maybe this is an area that you want to put more baby diaper wipes for the baby um but this is great like if you want to wipe down when you get onto the airplane it's just boom boom um so that's great um it has this little zipper opening okay so this bag, it's kind of weird. It doesn't go, it should go down further, but I, it's still a big opening. Like it's still massive. It should, 
The bag feels definitely like that little bit of height compared to the Lululemon bag. This one definitely feels deeper and that there's more space in it. Okay, so this bag looks like it's a wet dry bag, which is absolutely great to have. Yeah, right? Little babies sometimes make accidents, huh? Yeah, it happens. And you need somewhere to put their wet clothes. Maybe you can't throw a diaper away right away. Um, maybe your shirt got nasty. Yeah, right, stuff happens. Crazy. It feels like there's stuff or something in it, so I'm gonna go ahead and check it out. It also has a little thing for your wrist, which is great. So you could put other things inside. It doesn't have to be nasty items. You could carry this around as a little like wrist bag. It looks like it came with a little pacifier holder, which is great. Everything is a very nice wipe down material, so nothing's gonna get nasty. Um, but this is super cute. Um, yeah, you could definitely put like one or two binkies in here, so that's great. It also looks like it came with a little teether toy. This is super pretty. Is that gonna be for you? Are you gonna love it? And then, stroller straps so hook to the little areas on this on the bag the little stroller strap so that's great so so far with the base bag you've gotten the fanny pack the backpack and a wet dry bag which is great for the price i'm gonna go ahead and i'll include on the video like how much each bag is or you can check out the description but they're both relatively close in price right they're both close in price. Okay, now taking a look inside the bag. It looks like there's a padded pocket. This could be for an iPad, maybe like a 13 inch MacBook, maybe your uh, MacBook Air. Um, again, I think this is too small for my laptop, but I'm, real, I'm gonna try it out because there's another little zipper pouch right here. Um, you could put little quick grab things, snacks, whatever it may be, maybe it's more stuff for mom, maybe it's stuff for baby. Then there are four pockets. Sorry, there are four of those like little organizer pockets. These ones don't feel insulated. Oh, these ones are insulated. So these are two insulated bottle pockets, which is great for me. Um, if you're somebody who carries bottles and things with you, so that's definitely something to consider between the two bags. There's spots for two bottles, two milk bags. Actually, you could put way more than two milk bags in there, but you could definitely put like an ice pack and a milk bag or something. So that's great. Isn't gonna leak all over your bag. And then there's just like a ton of room for you to carry like extra outfits. Um, I need to be able to have room for to carry like my LV pump and all different sorts of things. And so, yeah. Yeah, what do we think of this bag? Both bags are really stunning and I like them. Right now, just based off looking at the pockets, looking at both bags, I'm definitely leaning towards the Bays bag, but I wanna put a couple things for me that are key items and see which one makes sense for me. Okay, I went and got a few key items for myself that I wanna be able to fit inside my bag. And so I'm going to compare putting in each bag to see which one kind of fits more, my needs more. Okay, first the Lulu bag. I have one of these like breast milk chillers, like for when you're on the go. Um, I don't know how to pronounce the name, but I'm, I'll link it in the description in case anybody's interested or there's somebody who pumps. But this is really important for me to be able to fit in the bag, whether it's in the bag or on the side. And while I know this would fit inside the Lulu bag, I don't like the idea of it taking that much room. I'm gonna stick it in the side and we'll see. It definitely fits in the bag. I can look what ounce this is. I think it's a, this is a 32 ounce bottle for comparison. So if you have like a 32 ounce hydro flask or something, um, this fits in the bag. It does kind of push into the bag a little bit, but because of the stretch, it doesn't actually take up that much space. So I'm kind of surprised, but it does eat a little bit into like, this organization pocket but it does fit okay and then i also have my bottle warmer this also fits in the side but it kind of eats up in the middle i do have the 
what's it called the diaper bag like on the go in there so this is kind of all the space that you would have to work with it does seem like still like a fair amount um you could definitely have a couple outfits in here i would also need my lv pumps in here because remember this is a bag for mommy and baby for me not just baby um, so i have my ipad ipad fits in the pouch great okay i went and got my lv's and a bottle for little Naomi. She said she was hungry and she needed a snack. She's been working real hard. I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the bag and we can kind of see how things go. But if you look at it, when I put the LVs in there, it kind of takes up the rest of the bag. And yes, I do have the other diaper bag in there, but for me personally, I would need that because I need this to be a diaper bag with like changing sort of stuff, as well as a bag for mommy and baby. Right, honey? We have lots of needs. Um, it kind of feels full once I put all that stuff kind of in the bag. Um, I could throw an outfit in here. I could throw all that stuff, but the bag itself feels a little full. There isn't any bottles in here. There isn't any milk in here. Like there isn't anything going on and the bag is already pretty full. And I am gonna pull out my stuff though, my LVs and things and take out this just so people can see. But, but once I take out that other bag there's tons of room so maybe you just kind of slip the pad somewhere else and kind of make it work it's kind of a bummer that you can't really use both if you want to carry a bunch of stuff and we carry a bunch of stuff right i just wanted people to see in case you had a 16 inch laptop for like maybe work or travel or something it does fit in that pocket it does fit here, like, as well as the iPad. So that's really nice, actually. Okay, now we're back with the base bag. I'm gonna load it up with some stuff and see how it compares. First, I'm gonna go in with my breast milk chiller. I'll link this in the description if you're someone who pumps and is interested, but easy. Big test, you can even do it one-handed, which is great, because you know you'll be holding the baby. Um, this is a 32 ounce bottle, so fits great. I also brought a 40 ounce in here. This would have fit in the Lulu bag as well, but again, it would have taken up some of the inside room, but you can just go ahead and slip it in. My bottle warmer. Both fit great on the bag. Doesn't take apart, take away any of the inside. Keep saying that because that's a must for me. I need as much room as possible. There's no other diaper bag in there taking much of the room because this base bag, it has that awesome feature on the back with the drop down change table. Also, again, it will have the fanny pack on here. I just have it unclipped. So tons of storage. It does have insulated pockets for two bottles already. So you could put a bottle or a milk pack or whatever in there, but this is a big test for me. If I'm traveling at the airport all day and I want all my milks and things ready, I have my little um, kind, I don't know if anybody else uses the kind system for um, bottle feeding. It's awesome. Um, they're these little bottles. They're really cool. Um, but I would want to be able to carry some at the airport or wherever we are, if we are out for the whole day um, and having this in here while in the Lulu bag, you could totally hook it to one of the carabiners. It's not very cute having this hang out, but let's see if this fits in here. Super easy, tons of room. Just in the bottom of the bag, extra milks, you're all set. Again, though, it has the bottle pockets. So you don't need to carry something like that. I just know if I went on a long trip, I would want to have a bunch of milk. I also want to go ahead and throw my LVs in there. LVs. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can fit my iPad. That fits into the spot. So right now I have my extra bag for milks, my LV in there, my iPad. There's lots of other pockets that I would put my mom's stuff. So I don't need to worry about putting the space in there um it also came with the wet dry bag so that fits in there with plenty of room so you still have room for extra outfits um little hygiene and emergency stuff for the baby so far i can tell like this bag is probably going to be the winner because this pocket yeah right we like this one we like this one huh yeah that big smile very blown away by how much space all the different pockets how much room there is um the wipes thing 
of the drop down changing table, the size of the water bottle pockets, super awesome. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try and see if I can fit my, my laptop in there. Let's see if it can fit in the pocket. No way. Oh my God, it can fit in the laptop pocket. Oh, oh my God, I'm sold, I'm sold. All my stuff can fit in the bag. We sold, yeah, we love it. This is the bag. If you're somebody who travels, you brings a lot of stuff, I would say this is the bag. If you're looking for something a little bit smaller, not as beefy of a bag, the Lulu bag is beautiful. There's lots of room still in there, but it's, if you need to take it one step further, the Bay's bag is definitely for you. Okay, there you have it. This is Naomi and I's review on the Bay's bag and the Lulu lemon bag. If you found this video helpful, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I've decided I'm going to be going with the Bay's bag. I hope this video was helpful in making your decision on which bag is right for you. All right, bye.